Hopefully everybody's pushing me, when are you going to have it available commercially? Uh, I can't rush the EMA any more than what they'll, they'll want to do, and, or the FDA. Uh, so, uh, and where's that at now? Well, we're, we're, we, I just got a report today from uh, the last animal study we have to do, which is the 28-day the dog uh, toxicity. You know, is it toxic to dogs? Does it cause them to have cardiovascular problems? And uh, the guy just emailed me and said, dogs are doing great to, after two weeks. So we're, uh, we're getting near the end of that. And, but see, then we have, to, we have to make a dossier from all the studies we've done in total and, and then do a clinical trial application. And you know, try to get permission to do a phase one, which is give it to uh, people uh, for two weeks at different levels, and you know, and do the blood test to see how how much is assimilated by humans and how long it stays in the bloodstream, and, et cetera. How would you sum up what you've found so far in the studies with MDMA? Oh, it's it's totally without toxicity. It it doesn't have any mutagenicity. Uh, can, can and you, and the studies with animals. Start with like uh, with all the studies we've done on. So give yeah. them the backstory. Oh. Yeah. With all the studies, we've done a 28-day rat study. We've done studies where we've injected rats with uh, lethal doses of mercury, multiple lethal doses, and give them NBBI and recover them. Uh, we've done uh, studies uh, looking at the uh, removal of essential metals. Does this remove essential metals? And it doesn't. Uh, we've done studies to see what effect it has on the reducing equivalence in the body and it uh, you know it, it, uh, it definitely increases the glutathione levels and everyone we've tested it on and looked at them and they, by measuring their blood glutathione levels they go up way above average if they take OSR for a month or so so and there's no toxicity we haven't seen one sign of it being toxic the only uh, you know the only caution that we we warn people people that are sensitive to sulfur drugs or sulfur compounds you know, could have a problem with OSR. You have to be very careful with that. And what do you think that is? That oh, it, it's uh, the ability to take sulfur and take sulfite to sulfate. It's like you have sulfite on the wine bottle saying it's caution, contains sulfite. There are human beings that, and especially people that are short on molybdenum, and there are also people that genetically don't metabolize sulfite to sulfate. You have to oh. detox sulfite. Sulfite's a very potent neurotoxin. It causes, uh, it affects the myelin sheath on, uh, in neurons. So, uh, people who, who can't metabolize sulfur compounds, because if you take in uh, things like cysteine, that sulfur on some of the cysteines will go to sulfite, which is toxic, very low concentrations in the body, and is rapidly converted to sulfate, which is not toxic and excreted in the urine. But if you don't get rid of that sulfite, it's like the people that eat at salad bars and they sprayed them with sulfite, it keeps, it, it keeps them nice and green, it's a reducing rate. Uh, it causes these people to pass out in the restaurants, and so you can't, it's against the law to do that now. Sulfite is very, very well known to be toxic, and it's in wine. It's a preservative in wine. I see. And so you'll put together this dossier, and what do you think your timeline is, like the best scenario, like what your hopes are anyway? Well, my hopes are that, you know, within a, uh, that they'll, they'll look at that and, and give us a meeting and, and uh, tell us, yes, go do the clinical trial. And humans, uh, you know, uh, within a month after we put the dossier in, that would be, that would be my hope. But I, I mean, realistically, it may be two months. I, I really, because the timing when they have their meetings makes a big difference in how fast they respond to it. Uh, and then they could give us a clinical trial authority when we've completed all the tests that we proposed to them. And uh, then uh, after the clinical trial, if it and it won't be toxic. I mean, there's, you know, we sold this for two years and didn't have a significant adverse effect. I've been taking it be six years this November. And I don't take any supplements. I also don't take any commercial drugs. I don't take anything except cinnamon. Cinnamon and OSR. <laughs>